Hi everyone, this is Team My Time, and we believe that setting time for yourself should not be difficult. My Time is here to prioritize you by optimizing your scheduling experience to plan your day. This way, sp you spend less time planning and more time doing. I'm Bianca, the product manager of the team, and today I'm joined by Darlene, our designer, as well as our software developers, Baldeep and Hani. So before we even started formulating what my time would look like, our team decided to explore the problem space. We conducted user research surveys, the user interviews, to really understand what we're trying to solve. And based on our user research, we found that majority of our participants agreed that planning is important to them and use some form of planning tool to plan their work meetings, appointments, errands, and time for self-care. However, over 90% of our respondents were not satisfied with the planning tools that are currently available to them. And over 70% want to, but find it difficult to plan their personal activities. These include self-care and personal development. To illustrate this even further, let's walk you through Alex's journey. Meet Alex. Like most of us, Alex is a working professional who values their self-care. They want to spend their personal time developing healthy habits. Alex wants to exercise multiple times a week and find some time every day to meditate. Alex struggles to keep up with and maintain these habits. When Alex tries to figure out how to fit in these habits into their everyday schedule, they feel demotivated to navigate through their busy schedule since it feels like solving a jigsaw puzzle. They also feel like slotting time for themselves is really difficult as other competing priorities keep eating into their personal times. But that's where my time comes in. So with my time, Alex can easily uh, and quickly schedule that uh, gym time and personal time uh, that they're looking to make time for. Um, so in just a few clicks, Alex can start uh, planning time for themselves. Um, and in doing so, spend less time planning and more time doing the things that they actually love to do. So Alex is gonna start by um, creating an activity for a meditation. And then they also wanna schedule in some gym time. So Alex wants to spend at least 15 minutes a day, every day um, for meditation, and they wanna do it early in the morning. For the gym, Alex wants to spend at least one hour every day in the gym, but they don't really care when it happens, whether it's in the morning or afternoon or in the evening, um, as long as it just happens. Uh, so Alex chooses these as, as their activities and uh, creates their My Time calendar. From here, Alex can rejig and rejig and rejig as many times as they want until they find that perfect schedule that perfectly incorporates their gym time and meditation time before they push it to their Google calendar. And that was a peek into what a product has to offer. We're currently working on getting all these features implemented in our MVP at mytime.live. And the features that are pending are the fully functional integration of the Google Calendar, as well as the reject functionality that you just saw. We also have some exciting features lined up for the next iteration of the project, which includes the calendar optimization, where activities will be slotted only in open windows, as well as fun the functionality to add more than three activities. We all join CoLab ready to learn and grow in the world of tech, and we wanted to just take a quick moment to thank the team at CoLab as well as all our mentors that helped us make this experience so rewarding. We learned a lot during these past few weeks, and personally, I learned that the key to building a great product is to fall in love with the problem. Being open-minded about what a solution would look like is important because the job to be done will remain the same, the solution might evolve. And leadership is about influence, encouragement, problem solving, and thinking about things top down as well as ground up. And as product designer, I learned to have one foot in the present and one in the future. In an agile environment, time is valuable. I found myself needing to think ahead, but still stay in the present, to visualize the solution space, what the constraints or opportunities might be in the future in case the idea is not feasible, to communicate often and be transparent. From the beginning, our team was highly communicative and supportive of each other in all aspects of our lives. We celebrated each other's wins, problem solved together, whenever we needed to pivot. To me, this is the glue that held our team together. And finally, I learned to adapt while still tying back to our users' needs. Whenever we pivoted, we came across more questions that needed to be answered. When we didn't have those answers, we referred back to research and insights. 
If we were still unsure, we conducted more research with users, which made every decision user-driven. Hi, my name is Baldeep. I'm one of the software developers. I learned how to work in a team with a PM and a UX, de UX designer, and also what their job entails, even before uh, we decided on a product. And I understand the job of a software developer more clearly, just going about implementing solutions, finding out which solution works the best, maybe backtracking, implementing a different solution. And I also got better at reading documentation. Uh, my go-to before this was always videos, but Hanny, our other software developer, was always sending me written documentation, so I got used to reading that. And hi, I'm Hanny. And some of my biggest learnings was time management and time estimation and being realistic about how long something will take. Um, and being able to pivot and leave behind a task in order to spend my time more wisely on another task that needs to be done at the moment. Um, also trying um, things out that doesn't work out the way I want it to doesn't mean that it's wasted time, but it's knowledge gained. Thank you. And as a team, we learned that communicating problems with each other allowed us to think outside the box. This helped us navigate hurdles, to be hurdles better together. Sharing our highlights and struggles with the team helped with gaining some clarity as well as encouragement. And at the end of the day, being there for each other and feeling comfortable in sharing is everything. And with that being said, we would like to thank you for taking your time to watch our video and please check out our product on mytime.live as well as test out our prototype on Maze. And we're very open to your feedback any feedback you have to offer and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.